Welcome back. There are 22 official vendors participating in the Republican National Convention, including my next guest. Flags of Valor provides beautiful handcrafted flags made out of wood. The company is comprised of five combat disabled veterans and run by Air Force veteran Brian Stortz, who joins us right now live here on set in Cleveland. Brian, good to see you. Hi, thank, thank you, you so much for joining us. Well, we've been admiring one of the, the uh, flags, which is right here on set. How'd you come up with this idea? Congratulations. Well, thank you so much. I, uh, I was injured while I was deployed, and uh, I went to a rehabilitation program, and I didn't, you know, I didn't wear my, my uniform anymore, and I'm used to having my flag on my shoulder. And so uh, it kind of upset me, and there was, a, there was a flag that I found that was actually uh, a beautiful flag, but it wasn't made in the United States. And so uh, for therapeutic reasons, I started making my own, and I wanted to make it all with, you know, materials made in America. And then we, we launched Flags of Valor, and, and it's just been an incredible journey so far. And, and obviously by design, you've got all veterans working with you. We do. It's been, uh, it's incredible. It's a great uh, therapeutic transition for them to go from military life to to civilian and, and to really search for that camaraderie and brotherhood that we have uh, at our company. Brian, I, I'm curious about, had you done woodwork before? Was that a hobby for you? Before? I have, actually, no. I, uh, this is I, all new. It's all new. I spent a lot of time uh, watching do-it-yourself, stay-at-home mom videos of uh, painting and, and distressing. Really? And, and that's how I got started, yeah. It it's amazing. Be it's beautiful, isn't it? It's very therapeutic. And, and you know, we, we're just excited that the RNC asked us to come here. The, the energy's great, and uh, we're hoping to do well at the marketplace. And, and, you know, we believe in three distinct ideas. And we're very, we're very old school, Maria. We make everything by hand. Um, we believe made in America still matters. Uh, we believe that, you know, our veterans are an untapped resource. And, and we believe in giving back. And we've been able to work with some amazing charities and got to raise over 75000 over the last 75 days. Brian, how much merchandise did you bring with you? I have a feeling you might sell out. You know, uh, it's a well, long week. You're right. I kinda, we kind of figured that most people would be traveling. So um, I did bring quite a few. But uh, we're also setting up a catalog system. And we ship for free. So we figured we would ship them to maybe be at someone's house before they even arrive. Okay. So, so what's the website? We all want to buy one now. It's flagsofvalor.com, and then we're um, on social media, all the standard Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Flags of Valor. What does something like this retail for? So this is our medium-sized flag. It's called the Welcome Home. They're all named for specific groups of people or uh, military events, and uh, this one retails for one ninety nine. Great, great. Let me ask you, Brian, from your perspective as a war veteran, you know, we've been talking all day about what's going on in our world. Take us through the threats that we face at home and, and, and uh, how we should be protecting ourselves in light of the recent terrorist attacks and the police shootings. Well, I think, uh, I think the buddy system is definitely a good thing to stick by, uh, always going with someone and being alert and, and staying away from areas that you're you know, not sure of. And, and at the end of the day, you know, everyone's here and we're excited and we all you know, come here for one reason and it's because we love America and we're just really happy to be here. Brian, what do you tell other companies when it comes to hiring veterans? Not just any guidance that you can give them to, to make sure that these men and women who put their lives at risk for our freedom are protected and taken care of? Well, they're all, you know, very qualified. I'm a veteran myself, and, and I know what drives me and what drives them. And, and uh, they've been through some intense, you know, conflicts, and, and they're very well at, at handling stress and, and, and being in those kind of environments. So they usually thrive. And, and disciplined. I mean, we all know the reasons to hire veterans. Absolutely. You know, um, and a number of corporations have done so. But I think, mm -hmm. you know, what Dagan's looking for is how can we get more of them? Now, what do you want to tell business to really contribute? Well, you can reach out to, you know, each state has local veteran organizations and, and uh, ways to different, um, you know, job employment seekers out there. And uh, there's one that we use that's called Warriors Ethos, and they do uh, placement. And also on LinkedIn, they have uh, now a Medal of Honor recipient. Florent Groberg is a spokesman for them, and uh, they help place veterans in the right kinds of environments. So explain being a, vet, uh, being a uh, vendor here at the Republican National Convention. What does that mean? Do people can see your work and buy it they right can. on the spot? So or there's only, that yes, there's only 22 vendors here. We're set up just right across from uh, the arena at, at Progressive Field. And uh, we get to showcase our, our artwork for us. And then there's, you know, all kinds of different items and T-shirts and et cetera that you can buy from other vendors. What's the greatest thing that you get when somebody comes up and looks at your work and they admire it, they want it? There's got to be a personal connection there, right? It really is. Uh, we've got to connect with almost, um, you know, almost every one of our customers in one way or another. And it's very rewarding to know that something that I started in my garage and, and have gotten to train other, you know, all my guys, my team back in, in Virginia, uh, veteran craftsmen. And, and it's self-rewarding and it's philanthropic when we give back and we just love it.
I love it too. It's just fantastic. So, what, did, was it tough getting started, getting the money that you needed to start this business? Well, luckily, I was surrounded by you know a great network of, of family and friends, and and, um, and and so yeah, it's been it's been a struggle, but uh, everything's uh, exceeded our expect expectations so far. What do you want from the next president? Well, you know, we have like only a minute. <laughs> no, I, and I'm going to say this. I. Uh, I think whoever's going to be president is going to do a great job, and, and, and at the end of the day, like I said, we're just excited to be here. Uh, we have, you know, liberal and conservative uh, customers, and, and we just, we're glad to share our story. You know, we're, we're, we're all looking for leadership all the time, and I think when you see what you create, this flag made of wood, it makes you feel better, don't you think? Oh, I do, and I, yeah. I think it's a beautiful piece of art something that people can treasure, but it also uh, helps to stoke their own patriotism. Absolutely. Brian, you've done a great job. Oh, this well, terrific. thank you so much. We, we love being able to promote patriotism like this. So thank you for having us. Congratulations, Brian. Thank you.